local Islamic leader is calling them lunatics, saying people who commit acts of terrorism or violence are not really part of the Islamic faith. That today, after reports a Muslim man who injured nine people with a knife in St. Cloud this weekend may be linked to terrorism, or he may have been striking back against people who are anti-Muslim. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson has reaction from the leader of the Islamic community in Grand Forks. Nabil Suleiman is the leader of the Islamic community in Grand Forks, a community that nationwide has seen an increase in attacks this year. According to the Council on American-Islamic Relations, many American Muslims fear for their safety and the safety of their families. They don't think it's safe for them to go out in public. Do you think that's the case here? It is the case, but maybe we are not feeling it as much as some other folks in other areas. Do you know of families that think, well, it's not really safe for me to go to the mall or downtown shopping, or it's just kind of an uneasiness? Uneasiness. I have not heard from a single person saying, uh, I cannot do this anymore because of so and so. Suleiman says when people like the St. Cloud stabber commit acts of violence, and if they find out he supposedly did it in the name of Islam, he is not part of the true Islamic faith. They don't represent you. They not, not just not to represent me. They are living on a different planet, it seems like. Uh, we are way far apart from each other. They, uh, the way they think is, is way different. They think, think like criminals. Suleiman says he thinks most people understand Islam does not support violence. However, he says the current rhetoric in the presidential campaign is fanning the flames of protest against the people who practice it, Muslims. And hating a Muslim is becoming like a, a fashion. It's not, it's not a bad thing anymore. It's, it's okay to hate Muslims and to abuse them and to try to rip the scarf out of a, a Muslim woman because some politicians are actually encouraging them. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. Suleiman says if anyone has questions about the true Islamic faith, he's more than happy to meet with them.